wanted to share with you a couple changes that I've made to my start here page um, since chatting with Tommy Barav on office hours a couple weeks back. So he had a really awesome morning routine startup ritual that I really liked. And so I wanted to integrate the databases that I've been using into this startup routine. So my routine's a little bit different than his, but it definitely inspired me to uh, take charge here. And so I like to always start from, what is it that I'm trying to achieve this quarter? And so as part of the startup routine, I've got this review quarterly goals here. And so this just gives me an at a glance view of what the most important goals are and my progress on those goals. And then I can kind of tuck that away and that's nice and clean. And then I've got a win the day. And this is just my uh, daily journal filtered by date is today. So the second that I go and add a new entry, it automatically assigns today's date. And then the most important thing really is to put in your highlight in advance. So what is the most important, meaningful or joyful thing uh, that is the most important thing of that day today and to set that in advance. So this is something I try to do every morning when I get to my computer, put in my highlight, and then I can also pull in uh, the tasks that I'm responsible for today. And I can do that right here, or I can open that up and put those properties in, tuck that away. And again, the beginning of every week, I'll either do this on Friday or on Sunday, I will add a new week, and then I put my priority in for the week. What is the most important task that I need to get done that week? I might put in uh, one, two, or three tops, and those are my priorities, the most important thing. I will pull this in from my goals database, which is, which is great. I can um, pull in any data that already lives in there, or I can create a new goal on the fly if I want to. Um, and then I will go through and pull in any projects that are my focus for that week. Super easy. And so I have a lot of properties in these databases. So if I open this up, you'll see there's a lot here, but the gratitude, highs and wins, lows and challenges, room to improve. This is all stuff that I do once the week is starting to come to a close. Sometimes throughout the week, I'll start to measure my effectiveness uh, but really that's what I do in my weekly review. So set the week up with success by um, determining your priority in advance. And then toward the end of the week, you can start to do your uh, weekly progress here. And um, let's say for example, this is December 23rd to December 29th, just to give us a placeholder item. Um, and that's not going to show up because that is not within the um, past week. And so uh, every week, these are the tasks that need to get done. And what I'll do is I will move those into the week in question and check those off to say, yes, I have done those. Um, I've actually moved that into a template button since. So I will actually do that now so you can see what that looks like. Create a template button and it's going to say, add or like new weekly review and then I'm going to drag all of these tasks into there and then that becomes a template so every time I'm ready to, to do that weekly review I can one click do that and select all of those move them into the week click a new one when I'm ready. So basically this always is going to show the current week, which is great. So I can delete this now because that is part of my new weekly review template button right there. And the same thing with the monthly review. I've got new monthly review here that spits all of that out. And there actually should be a monthly database in here. So I'll show you what that looks like. Create link database and I need to pull in my monthly. There we go. And depending, you know, I might want to say uh, only show the most recent month if I want to. Um, but as soon as I'm ready to do this new monthly review, I can select all of these and drop those into the month. And those will show up at the bottom of a single month. And just to show you what that looks like, I'll make a, a replica December let's say evil December, just to show you again what that looks like. And again, that template button always stays there, but it just spits out all these amazing properties and I can drag those into evil December. If I open that up, 
You'll see all those beautiful properties are there. And these link to my actual project database, goals database, all of that is all connected up uh, because again, you can just mention any data that lives elsewhere. Goals, there you go, and that's linked up. So it's such a beautiful feature. And so then I can go through and say, yes, I did that, I did that. Um, a lot of these are based on um, Inspired by Tiago's monthly um, review process. I've changed up a lot of these because I use Notion instead of Evernote, different tools, um, but I kind of took what worked and left the rest and this is kind of helpful for me. So that's just an example to show you what the monthly review process can look like. And I think it's so much easier if you do this stuff in the moment it's a lot easier to do your reviews, to do your uh, weekly review, quarterly, monthly, all of that stuff here. Um, in fact, I should probably add my um, add a quarterly review here. I could do the same thing. I could build that right into the template as well, um, but it's just kind of a workflow to kind of um, get me to step through that process, and I find that that pretty helpful. So yeah, there's no reason why this couldn't actually just be baked into the bottom, but I. Um, I sort of have it set as an action for me to do and I find it helpful to to process it all in this way. Um, and then I just have my studies here that are kind of quick links. And so one thing I think I might also integrate in the future is to have as part of my win the day, um, I might you can see I've added a learning here and that's just a mention of courses that actually live in the studies. So you can see accelerators here and that's a one click learning. And so what I'm basically saying is my priority for today is to spend some time learning. Um, and this is the course that I'm focused on today. So um, I might integrate that in a more formal way, whether it's like studies today or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but these are the most important things that I um, this is kind of how I start the day and start the week and um, I really really enjoy Tommy's uh, morning routine to kind of help articulate that so I definitely recommend checking out that video I will mention it in the description below if you haven't seen that yet it's really inspiring so I hope you enjoy and hope this uh, helps you think about what you might need to include on your own start here page you know, if maybe you've got uh, habits that you're tracking and you want to integrate your habit tracker I like to do that as part of my uh, weekly database entry, um, but there's just so much you can do with Notion, obviously, to make it your own. So I encourage you to um, explore with your Start Here page what it might need to be to make sure that you are surfacing the most important information that is helpful for you.